Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna go check out the massive toy blowout. That is literally the name of the store or the event. Massive toy blowout. Apparently it's hosted a couple times a year and they blow out a bunch of toys in like a giant warehouse sale. I've never been to it before, but I'm really excited to go check it out because apparently they have some Lego there. Now I was streaming the other day, celebrating 250,000 subscribers. Thank you so much everybody for subscribing. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, the level of support is amazing, so thank you so much. And Joseph, a local member here, uh, mentioned that they're doing the sale. And then I Googled it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's only running Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So like this weekend right now. So it's like, well, we better go, better go check it out ASAP right now. So it's Friday morning. Uh, and we are going to go check out the massive toy blowout here in Edmonton. And I hope we score some good deals on some awesome Lego products. Yeah, excuse my mess down here. There's still stuff absolutely everywhere. I've got the Ethernet cable just running on the middle of the floor there to my laptop way over here. We've got a big mess over here. But hey, the city's looking pretty good though, right? But yeah, this is looking awesome. I love the boatyard. The new and improved... Uh, road plate top. Yeah, that looks so good. Same with the uh, Ninjago temple Really excited about that still gotta work a bunch of uh, do a bunch of work on this here I uh, gotta improve all this get all the water done move the spring lantern festival and then work on the residential and and just everything right But hey, it's coming along. That's great. So yeah, I can't wait to head on out and uh, do some Lego shopping Woohoo! <laughs> Pretty awesome. Hopefully you find some good stuff, eh? Ah, the force is strong with this one. Look at this train. It is just cooking. It's cruising. Holy smokes. That's wild. I just got stuck on uh, Anthony Hende for a good 20 minutes with construction traffic and now I'm stuck behind this train, but it is just flying. Holy smokes. So what a comical morning here. Supposed to be here 15 minutes early. Now I'm here 15 minutes late <laughs> because of uh, road construction. And now I'm walking through some fields because I have no idea how to get to this warehouse. <laughs> the entrance was like blocked off. It's like entry in the back. I'm like, all right. <laughs> now I've walked around this whole building the long way or the long way trying to find this place. It's hilarious. But there we go, we found it. We're good. See, that's what we're going to right now. So the title doesn't lie. It's literally a massive warehouse full of toys at discounted prices. And there's actually quite a bit of Lego. The problem is, is it's not like, it's not all like displayed together. It's all over the place. So you gotta like really look for it. So like you'll come over here, you'll see some dots bracelets for five bucks. Then you'll see a Mr. Potato ad, right? Then you'll see some Duplo, hey, bathtub toys. I should get that. 36 bucks. Um, I think, oh yeah, see, regular 50 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal, right? And then they're just sort of everywhere. Like you got an operation. Then you've got some more dots. And I saw some other good Lego stuff. There's some more. Duplo down there. But this one here is regular 40 bucks. It's like the new Batmobile. So it's on for 32 bucks. So you save like 20%, right? And like some Minecraft stuff. Down here they have the Adidas Superstar. So that's a pretty good deal. So $110. It's on for $86. So that's not bad. And look at this. We got white base plates on for 25% off. So normally they're 10 bucks. They're on for 750. So you get. 25% off white base plates. Lifeguard station, 38 bucks on for, or from 50 on for 38 bucks. So that's not bad either. <laughs> and we've got some little emojis there, but like this warehouse is huge. This is one aisle. Oh, here's Muppets minifigures. So they're regular, they're regular five bucks. They're on for four bucks. So that's a good deal. There's big stuff. There's small stuff. There's stuff of all sizes. So we got the Ultrix Sonic Raider on for $86, regular 110. The Horse Transporter. Uh, the Forest Horseback Riding Center, Lego Friends for 70 bucks. 
green base plates here. There's blue base plates just down the way over there. And then right here, we've got some classic uh, base plates for 13 bucks. These are all Canadian prices, but they're regular 18 bucks. So to get them for 13 bucks really isn't too bad. And then down here, we've got the Catamaran Sea Battle Ninjago set for 78 bucks from 100. So that's one aisle, okay? But look at how many aisles there are. <laughs> it's, it's massive warehouse. I've gone through two aisles so far. It's crazy. Like there's just so many deals just scattered all over the place. I'm gonna have to take some time and sort of go through it all and find out what we're gonna get today. That's wild. Lego City Wildlife Rescue with all the animals, like the elephants and the lions and stuff like that. 108 bucks, regular 140. You got the Hard Lake City School set on for 62 bucks, regular 80. Is that regular 80? I might have to verify some of these prices are, are what they actually are. Oh, look, uh, Iron Man, I don't have that. I've actually seen a really cool alternate build where you build like this really awesome Iron Man figure using two of these and one of the Airship Shadow. Also, there's the Formula E pullback car for 51 bucks. I don't have that one. I wanna add that to the Technic collection, you know? This is nuts. Oh, look at this. We got uh, the Hard Lake City Grand Hotel over here. 108 bucks, regular 140. Oh, look at this. The Megalodon. <laughs> the Megalodon pullback. Oh. Okay, here we go. We got some Mario stuff. We got this, the Main Street building. Ooh, regular 200 on for 167. Is that thing really 200 bucks? Might be some good parts in there though, hey? Could probably build a modular building out of all of this stuff. So to get, you know, 1,682 pieces for $167, I mean, it comes with mini dolls, which I'm not a huge fan of, but you get all of those pieces. Might have to consider that. We got some dots kits here, some more Ninjago stuff. Oh, there we go. There's the, uh, the Surfer Beach House on for 55 bucks. This is actually crazy. And we got the little Lego Friends Magical Ferris Wheel. Some more dot stuff. I'm not even looking at the other side. Video product. Holy cow. <laughs> I should have brought Jose with me. That was a fail. I need, I'm gonna have to give her a call because I don't know what to do here. Some classic sets. Oh, here we go, Star Wars. There's the uh, Dark Trooper Attack, regular 40 on for 32. Nice. Some more Ninjago stuff down here. Get the Mario blind mix. Oh, look at this, there's the uh, Lunar New Year Ice Festival, 25 bucks off. And some more city stuff, this large monkey kid set. Some of the newer speed champions, 25% off, like there's the Countach. There's also the Ferrari over there. We got some, some Transformers stuff. Ew, man, I could spend all day here. This is wild. Get some dots there again, some more Ninjago. Look at that, they even got the newer Technic all-terrain vehicle, 22% off. Some more Ninjago Max. The Friends Heart Lake City Movie Theater, 55. Lego City Family Home for 62. Some of the larger Mario stuff as well. All right, so it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going. So I decided to grab myself a shopping cart and make my way to the far aisles here where we started. It's crazy. <laughs> First thing I decided to grab was 20 green base plates. They're 25% off, and we've got a huge medieval scene that we're trying to build relatively soon here, right? So we need all 20 of those. Probably need even more, but I don't know. That's 150 bucks. I walked right by these. Uh, we saw the uh, Muppets minifigures, but we also have the Series 22 minifigures here as well. And check this out, we got the ATST, uh, regular $64.99 here in Canada, 51 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. 
the new hospital, 816 pieces, 125 bucks. Comes with some super awesome minifigs. That's still pretty pricey though, 125 bucks. I, I feel like that's still pretty expensive. Look at the size of that Duplo set. I just got off the phone with uh, Jose and uh, I talked to her about the kids toys. She said, you know, like they're not gonna play with them for a while, so. May as well wait a couple of years for that, I guess, right? This, this place, I think, comes here twice a year. Over here by my cart, you can see there's another Speed Champion. So they got like pretty much all of the new Speed Champions. That's neat. There's the uh, Spider-Man web quarters. Get all these cool minifigures for 51 bucks. Oh, wow, look at that. The Batmobile. The Batman. I already have it. If I didn't have it, I'd buy that. It's not really worth investing in. The box is demolished, but still, not bad. I already have this one. I have to build it. It's a pretty good deal though. From 50 on for 38. So the next thing that's in my cart here is two of the Dark Trooper attacks. So I have one already, but I'm gonna expand the hallway and increase the amount of troopers in it. And I think that'll look pretty cool. So this one's uh, $32, so that's 20% off its SRP. Okay, I didn't see these on my first walkthrough here, but these are the uh, Lego Dots big message boards. Remember, I keep saying I wanna make the twins their names. So Millie and Benjamin, and I wanna put it on their door. So I grabbed two of those there because that's actually a pretty good deal. Regular 50 bucks on for $36. Okay, so I've added a few more things uh, to our cart here. Got some blue base plates, five of those. Got some gray base plates down there, 10 of those. Pretty good deal, you save five bucks on them. And you know what, the city's always growing and changing and stuff like that, and to get these at discounted prices is just, this is the time to do it. And then uh, we got another one of these here because Lego Artisan has a surfer tiki bar that uh, he built using two of these. And we're gonna demolish the one that we have on the beach and we're going to use this one and build that. Okay, this seems a bit pricey, but I just keep coming back to it because there's some crazy alternate builds on Rebrickable. So we're gonna smash that one into our cart as well. Check out the alt builds. Those look pretty cool, hey? Eh? Like they look so complete and they look like modular buildings. It's incredible. So our cart is growing. Oh my gosh, this is getting ridiculous. But some of these deals are pretty good and like this stuff's gonna go toward the city or toward the kids' rooms or toward like, you know, a Star Wars Dark Trooper hallway? I think so, I think that's pretty cool. Look at this, I even spotted the uh, transformation vehicle right here for 150 bucks. Oh wow, they had the goat boat. It looks like they sold out. And look at this, they have the uh, Buzz Lightyear Zerg battle. There's the Creator 3-in-1 Safari Wildlife Treehouse. Oh, that's so cute. No way, we gotta get that, don't we? I gotta get something for the kids. Oh, but it's two plus. They're not gonna play with it for like two years, right? I don't know. Oh, should I surprise Jose with this? <laughs> should I surprise Jose or what? Look, you get Belle, Beast. Would she want that one? And then that can go to the twins eventually. Would she want that one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to keep my eye open. We got to surprise Jose with something, right? Let's surprise Jose with something. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't think she'd be, you know, I don't think she'd want a sardine factory or anything like that. But that, uh, that one there, she might like. Hey, Disney princesses, what do you guys think? Got something for Jose? All right, I got myself these. <laughs> got the twins those, got the city, all this stuff. So we'll get Jose that. I don't know if I want this. This might look pretty cool on the Marvel shelf, eh? I've always said that I'm not gonna do it, but it's on sale, 12 bucks off. We're gonna get that one too. <laughs> I was actually interested in this one, the Friendship Trios, but it doesn't look like they have any more. They've got this little street food market down here. <laughs> I love the taco. That's hilarious. Uh, that one's $51. There's another one there. And then this little uh, camper van 
and sailboat. But it looks like they're uh, sold out of the, uh, the tree house. I would have considered getting that one. Oh, here's some more Disney princess stuff. No, I think she'd prefer the other one. Oh, it's the, the Dojo Temple. Hey, that one actually looks sick. $107. Could put that in the Ninjago area. Mmm. That would look pretty good in the Ninjago area, eh? Oh. Regular 130 on for 107. Jeez, why did I come here? That's the one I'm always eyeing up at the Lego store, right? Like in the cabinet? And I always say that it'll look good in that area. The box art is phenomenal. Oh, oh man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. The police chase at the bank. 101 bucks. Yeah, so I think we're gonna do that. I'm hyped on our new Ninjago area. It's gonna be cool. Hey, you know what I didn't see the first time around is this here for 20 bucks, the attack on New Asgard. Then also, there is the Garganto Showdown right here as well. I already have that, but that's a good deal. 32 bucks, not bad. Oh, there's another bathtub floaty toy. Maybe I better get one, you know, just get at least one. It's one and a half plus, see? Maybe I should get the bathtub floaty toy. Look at that, look at the T-Rex. Holy cow. Wow. Hey, there's the Bad Bat Shuttle. It's not a bad deal. And also down here we have a fire station. Oh my gosh. I don't even think I've gone through this aisle yet. This is insane. <laughs> Look at this, we got a little uh, fire command unit here. Oh my, <laughs> the police boat. I really don't have any room in our harbor at all. Oh, oh, gross. Got some Mario. Oh, maybe I did go through this aisle. I've seen that before. There's just so much to see. Oh yeah, and we've seen this before too. Look at this little uh, table here. It's cool. Yeah, for sure, I've been down this aisle before. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. It's a good thing Jose's not here because we'd probably be going home with that. I've always wanted to try one of these uh, mechs here, but I just don't think I have it in me, you know, to start that new collection of Lego Ninjago mechs. So I'm gonna leave Zane's Titan mech battle behind, even though it's a pretty good deal. I think it's too early to invest in these, but these would be a good investment at 20 bucks. Any speed champion vehicles, but these are like relatively new, right? So they're gonna be around for quite some time, but those would be good ones to get eventually. I think I'm gonna leave the stinky rocks here though. Oops. Oh, there's only one left on the shelf. There's the uh, bat cave, the Riddler face off from the Batman movie. I'm gonna leave it there. Well, everybody, I think we've outdone ourselves and it's time to check out. I've walked the aisles about five or six times now and I keep noticing more and more stuff. We're gonna go home and show Jose what we got. I hope she's wearing her brown pants. Hey, Jose. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Stella. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Excited. Hi. You gonna brace yourself? Hmm? You gonna brace yourself? <laughs> wait till you see what I did. What I'll bring it down here, you wait. <laughs> What did he get? Oh, I'm like Santa Claus trying to fit through here. <laughs> I like oh, hear multiple bags. So, uh, I got some stuff for the city. I got some stuff for for the kids. Oh my! <laughs> this. Uh, so we got these for the kids. Oh yay! And yeah, I saw them on sale. And we want to do it for a million bedrooms, right? Yeah, we've been wanting to get these. That's awesome. Yeah. These think, are fairly new, too, so that's pretty... Yeah, I think they're like 25% off. And then... Uh, We're going to put yeah. the baby's names on these. Ten gray base plates. I know you're super excited about that. Very exciting. Twenty of the new green base plates in the packaging. They're even in, like, the, the paper packaging. 
Mm -hmm. so Brand new it. packaging on sale. <laughs> 20. 20? 20 of them. Yeah. <laughs> and then two dark trooper attacks. Okay. <laughs> For the hallway. I want to make a hallway. The oh. Uh, yeah, I want to make a hallway. So it's like more legit. And then one of these because you know how Lego Artisan has that. It's yeah. like a tiki bar. Yeah. So we already have one. It takes two sets, but we'll just part ours out and use this one to make the tiki bar. Let's see. So that's bag number one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh bag number, my. Bag number two. Yeah, that one will be cool. That's a pretty cool reversible. Bag number what? two. <laughs> that's that. I see a lot of themes that are unusual. <laughs> Why on earth? What? I just, what? I just figured this would be cool. Like, when we have our mountain ridge going behind Ninjago, and we, like, put it up on the mountain ridge or something, like uh, another temple or dojo. Uh, right? All right? Wouldn't that be neat? Oh, I just walked to say. Uh, Wouldn't that be neat, though, right? Like, up on the, the ridge or whatever. Okay, now this one, okay. there are some crazy rebrickable models. Yes. Of this. Yeah. Right? And this It's one, actually a pretty cool set. Yeah. And like Friends the, has been impressing me lately. The rebrickable models look like straight up like crazy colorful modular buildings. Yeah. So we're gonna research that. So I got one thing for you specifically. For me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. Jeez. <laughs> oh, there's more. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> But I've been eyeing it up since it came out. That's awesome. And then I also got you Iron Man. Oh, yeah, that's for me. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He comes with like the UCS he style is plaque cool. and stuff. He is pretty cool. He'd be cool with the, uh, with the marble shelf. So, everybody, what did we spend in total today? Let me just pull out the receipt here. There's two times bell. <laughs> so, this is the summer sale, and they do it twice a year. They do it in the first couple weeks of June, so right now, and they do it within the first couple weeks of December, so I'll probably be back there in December. Grand total after GST, 5% GST here, general sales tax that is, $944.48. <laughs> well, you got lots of good stuff for the city. There is a lot, there's lots a lot of, of base plates. I'm surprised plates. like the brand new packaged yeah. base plates are on sale. We, don't, we haven't bought any in the paper packaging yet. So essentially, a couple new modular buildings. We're gonna do that. We're gonna have a new temple. We're gonna have a new tiki bar. We're gonna have a long Death Trooper hallway. We're gonna have Iron Man. Jose's gonna have this. I don't know, I might do, like it's gonna go somewhere in the, I don't know. I don't Either know. a Disney shelf or the amusement park, I don't know. Base plates, what, where's my blue ones? Oh, the blue ones are there. Okay, good, we got blue ones. I thought they, they didn't bag them, but I got five blue base plates too. All right. Those were just hidden. And then uh, the two letter boards for uh, the kids. So I've there's seen, our- I've seen cool things done with these, so. Yeah. It'll be fun to play around with. For sure, like do like the 3D sort of games. Yeah, endless possibilities. Wow, what a great day. So there is our Lego warehouse shopping spree. Did not yeah. expect it to be that good. No. Wow. I, no, no, I did I not, wish expect, I went. I did not no. expect it to be like that. It was a massive warehouse. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm sort of jelly. I should have gone. But yeah. also, you were no. there for a really long time. No. I couldn't have done it. No. Yeah, you don't need to come to that <laughs> no. place. It's chaos. Well, everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. We hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Bye. Thanks. Bye.